Hi there, my name is Ryan and I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk to you about the dangers of mobile phone radiation and other wireless technology. So, I mean, we all think of this mobile phone as a great little gadget, don't we? I mean, it allows us to communicate, we've got little games on it, you know, we can also take pictures with it. But have you ever stopped to consider about the possible health implications of mobile phone radiation? My own personal story is that I've been severely affected by mobile phone radiation, so much so that I have to wear a hairnet over my head, this is my net, when I go out in the house because I get severe headaches, I become dizzy, disorientated and I just get this horrible burning in my head for about two or three days. Now I've developed this severe sensitivity. And I've met many other people as well that are also suffering from this. Professional people, people that have used mobile phones for years and not had any problems. And then all of a sudden, they've started getting these head pains. One company director that I spoke to was using a mobile phone for 14 years. And um, all of a sudden, he started getting severe head pains and he had to stop using it. So, I mean, there's many stories out there of people that are being affected by it. I'm not a technophobe or anything like that. I'm all for technology. I mean, hey, you know, I think the internet is one of the, uh, one of the best revolutions of the, the end of the 20th century. But there are certain things that do raise big, big question marks. And one of those things is radiation from mobile phones and other wireless technology. I mean, we're talking about things like cordless phones and Wi-Fi as well, because these also emit radio waves. There's a lot of science around out there as well. Some of the science is for mobile phones, some of the science is against mobile phones. Now, the science that tends to be for mobile phones, you'll find a lot of the time that it's funded by industry, the telecommunications industry. Now, I think there's a bit of a conspiracy going on here because the telecommunications industry is actually paying scientists to come up with favourable results. Now, those scientists that want to come up with the real science are finding that um, somehow they're having their research budgets cut and they've got difficulty finding funding. One such scientist that I came across on the internet is a scientist by the name of Dr. George Carlo. Now, he was given $28 million by the US telecommunications industry to come up with scientific evidence that mobile phones were safe. However, he came up with completely the opposite results. Now, he's gone so far as to say that um, between 30 and 50,000 new cases of brain and eye cancer in the US today can be attributed to mobile phone use. Now that's a pretty big figure there. Now doesn't that raise question marks in your mind? Now whether you take on board this or not is entirely up to you. All I'm doing is I'm here just to inform you and give you good information. Now don't just take my word for it you can also have a look for yourself. If you go to any internet search engine like Google, AltaVista or Yahoo or anybody like that, just type in the words mobile phone radiation and put speech marks either side so it only looks for those words together. And you just find out how many results that search comes up with. Okay, well that's all I've got to say for today and um, I do look forward to um, your responses to this video and um, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.